Do you sometimes feel lonely owning your own business? Like there's no one out there that really understands you and your business well enough to be of real help. I'm Richard Chandler. I'm a business coach and consultant, and I work with a variety of businesses, anywhere from a few employees to as many as 50 employees currently, who are looking for ways to grow their business and be more successful, and at the same time, not work so much, not have so much of the time in the operations of their business. In this video, I'm going to share nine compelling reasons why it could make sense for you to consider hiring an executive coach, a business consultant, business coach. Any of those names will suffice for the kind of work that is done by someone who can step in to be your trusted advisor. So the first one, you head up an organization that depends on high quality decisions to remain successful. And with that comes a lot of responsibility, not just for yourself and your own livelihood, but for the livelihood of all the people that work in your business and your customers, your suppliers, all the other stakeholders. And you feel some of that burden. The second reason, you know that motivated versus mediocre teams can make or break your business. And I bet that's difficult once in a while, where there's people on, on maybe your executive team, the, the people that report directly to you for larger organizations or smaller ones, just any of your people that just aren't quite making it. They're not quite pulling their own weight, and you're not sure what to do about it. And that's important to really have your teams motivated in order to really move forward because you need those people and need them to be at the top of their game too. A third reason, you embrace the truth that growth as a leader and your organization's growth can't be separated. The really, the two go hand in hand. The best leaders that I know are continually educating themselves, exposing themselves to new ideas, new ways of looking at the world. And that's part of what an executive coach brings, a new perspective, new ideas, fresh ways of considering their business. The fourth reason, you want to make the best decisions for your organizations. Getting those decisions right is of utmost importance. And yet, trying to figure it all out on your own is sometimes exhausting, and you may not end up with the best decision because, as the saying goes, you don't know what you don't know, but someone from the outside who works with a multitude of businesses over decades can see things that may not be quite so apparent to you. The fifth reason, you only want to confide in someone who can grasp the complexity of your organization's challenges. You just can't talk with anybody, even if you have a good romantic partner who really is all there for you and supporting you in being an entrepreneur, they may not really understand the business well enough or business in general well enough to be of the most help to you. Number six, complete confidentiality is of vital importance to you. You want somebody you can really trust. Now, my background is a good background for this because I'm a, also a psychotherapist. I, I mean, confidentiality is my business. And having someone who you can tell anything that's going on to with your business and you don't need to be concerned about it going anywhere else is really of real importance in order to really share what's really going on to get some real help. Seven, you want unbiased feedback from a person who gets you and who really knows you and your business. And without unbiased feedback, it's hard to really make the best decisions. And if you really think about it, anybody in your business has some kind of an agenda. They have a vested interest, whatever that might be. Whereas somebody from the outside can look at everything more objectively and understand what needs to happen in order for everything to go better. And that feedback is not influenced by anything else. It's a clean arrangement. You, you know, the, the coach, the executive consultant simply gets paid for giving you his or her best. Eighth, you want to reallocate your time 
from operations to strategic leadership and work less hours in your business. It's really important that you don't work all the time. Most entrepreneurs got to where they, they, they arrived, so far anyway, by working way too many hours at the sacrifice of their personal life and their relationships. And also, really, it's harder to grow bigger if you're doing too much of it yourself. You really need other people to step up to do more so you can devote your time to strategic leadership, the big decisions, the hiring, the, the ways of looking at your business that will really make it grow rather than being stuck in operations, doing a job. And finally, ninth, you're committed. You're absolutely committed to strategic growth and building a business that no longer needs your daily involvement. This is the kind of business to have, a self-managing company, a business that you can step away for days, weeks, maybe even months at a time at some point, and it will run itself, continue to make money. And what your job will be is to touch in and make sure the decisions are good, the strategies are making sense, but not being involved in operations, not needing you in order to keep it running. And if you at some point want to sell the business, you'll get way more money if it's like a turnkey money machine rather than needing you. It really will be worth way more that way. If these nine reasons for perhaps considering hiring someone, engaging them to be of help to you, make sense, get in touch with me, Richard Chandler. The contact information is at the end of this video. And we can have a short discussion to really get to know a little bit more about you and your business and if there's perhaps some match for the two of us. Thanks for listening. Take care.